Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm joining you from our woodland property here in Jackson, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to Eastern Larch or Tamarack. Eastern Larch or Tamarack is native to parts of Ohio, but it's definitely not native this far south in the state. In fact, it's only native to about 10 or 12 counties, most in the northeastern part of Ohio, and a couple counties to the extreme nor northwestern part of the state. But Eastern Larch has a very large range. It actually extends from the east coast to the west coast um, across North America, and a large portion of its range is actually in Canada, but it does come south into much of the northern part of the United States, from New England to the northern parts of the Lake States, and then to some of our western states. But again, Eastern Larch is unique in the fact that it is a deciduous conifer. It's one of the few conifers or cone-bearing trees that actually loses its needles every fall. So what we're seeing now are the new needles that have just emerged here within the past few weeks. The needles are still pretty soft, they're not hardened off, and in fact they're a little bit lighter in color than they normally would be. They're somewhat flattened, and it's, the needles are actually arranged in an alternate fashion, but what we see is this big cluster of needles. And what happens with eastern larch is that we've got little spur shoots. These are little short branches that are, you know, maybe a quarter inch in length at most, and these needles come off of that branch. So even though they alternate sides of that little branch, they're so clustered in there, it almost looks like an explosion or a bunch of fireworks going off. And I love the looks of the, the larch needles on these little spur shoots. And then those spur shoots will alternate sides of the twig. So again, about three quarters of an inch to an inch in length, they're kind of flattened, they're fairly fine or thin, and then they'll turn a little bit darker later in the season. As we get into fall, they'll turn yellow, and within a relatively short period of time, those bright yellow needles will hit the ground. So Eastern Larch also has fairly fine or slender twigs. Those twi twigs tend to be a light brown color, um, and then the bark will get fairly scaly later on as well. And then what is another neat thing about this species is the cone. So it'll have little male cones that are pretty inconspicuous and uh, they're pretty much done at this point. But then the female cones are actually bright red right now. And as they're maturing, they're bright red. And then as they develop later into the season, they'll become a light straw color later in the season. Little egg shaped cones that are about three quarters to an inch in length as well. The cones on larch or tamarack are also vertical, so they stand upright on the twig versus most cones on many species are drooping, but these are upright on the twig. I also didn't really mention the site or the habitat that this grows in, but it tends to grow in boggy wetland type areas. It needs lots of moisture, it needs lots of sunlight, but if it's growing in your landscape and has plenty of light, it tends to do quite well. This one's been here probably less than 10 years. I bought it as a little seedling at a native plant sale. It's quite a bit broader and not as tall as you might think it would be and not quite as conical as we would expect. This one's actually had a little bit of damage over the years from white pine weevils. So it's lost its leader a couple times and therefore it's getting a little broader. Where in nature, in one of those boggy areas, it's gonna be a nice straight conical tree. It can get up to about 80 feet in height. Thank you so much for your time and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.